Well, I was 18 years old when I met John Robertson. And as I stated before, he was a father figure to me and a friend when I became an NCO. And it became personal. You know, I'd never known anybody to be killed over there or lost. Uh, I'm sure there was, and I forgot them, but I couldn't forget this guy because he made such an impression on me. He was a great person, a good teacher, and I will never forget him. I served with John from 1959 to 1961. During that time, I was uh, a private and then a spec four. Then they sent me to NCO school, and I became a Sergeant E5, temporary grade. That's the way they did it in those days. And I got to know the, the NCOs, including him, a little bit better because I could socialize with them. And he was just the same, you know, off base or on base. He was just a kind, gentle guy. John was a squad leader, and he was the type of person that you really related to. John was, in my mind, the epitome of a soldier. He was ge kind, gentle, and had that accent, which I had a hard time getting used to being from upstate New York. <laughs>